Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to the analysis of Yolendo TV. I hope you're well from whatever you're watching this channel. I'd like to start this session by appreciating you so much for making this channel grow. If you wish to support us, just subscribe to our channel and give this video a like. William Samairuto is currently on a tour of the Nyanza region. During the past close to three, four months there, William Samoruto has been traversing counties after counties, trying to dish out development agendas, but he has been skipping Siaya, he has been skipping Kisumu. Those two counties, he has been making sure that he doesn't tour them. Probably it, could, it was because of the rebellion, you can say that, or maybe because of what Gachagua previously used to say, that uh, regions which do not vote for William Samoy Ruto are non-shareholders. A narrative that uh, William Samoy Ruto yesterday rejected. So, I want to take you to uh, an event uh, where William Samoy Ruto, I think it was in um, uh, Migori County, where William Samoy Ruto held a road side rally and uh, in that video where, where he uh, that uh, i managed to stumble upon where william Sumoto was talking to the people he tried to talk about the plans of uh raila molodinga in 2027 and in that video also he managed to mention kalazo msioka saying that kalazo msioka cannot outsmart him in 2027 Ile tu deni bado mimi niko naye na nitauliza Agwambo. Unajua mimi nimepigia kura Agwambo. Na Agwambo hajawahi kunipigia kura. Sasa na na mngojea 2027. Kwa sababu sasa kama yeye is not running. Si mimi nitashindana na Kalonzo. Huyu Kalonzo kweli mkiniona mkiona na <laughs> Si hata mimi nilikuwa muti ya baba. Ama Kwani muti ya baba ya sahi na muti ya baba ya zamani si the same. Ama na mna gani? Na mi nauliza nyinyi? Mimi nauliza nyinyi? Ndiyo Raila haitwe Prime Minister leo. Nani alichangia hiyo kazi? Sini mimi? Mimi ni waulize tena. Siku ile sisi wote tulikuwa tunasaidia kwambo. Si tulikuwa tunatafuta kiti ya rais. Sisi wote. Sasa mi nauliza nyinyi? Kwa hii uchaguzi ilikuwa imepita. Watu wa kushindana kwa hiyo kiti walikuwa wangapi? Si ni mimi na Agwambo. Tulipata hatukupata. Sasa shida iko wapi? So those were the remarks which William Samuel to made. So the attendance in that rally, I'll be honest with you, it was uh, quite convincing, but uh, as to whether those are votes, that is another debate. So because People have been saying, you know, especially people from the UDA, that uh, William Samoy Ruto has been massively received in the Nyanza region, and the people there are now supporting him. That is what people like uh, Aaron Cheriot, people like uh, Oscar Sudi are beginning to say. But also, there's another video I came across, you know, and this... I don't know, I'm just, I just, someone just shared this video with me and uh, captioned it saying that uh, these were people who have been paid to attend that rally. Well, I've been trying to gather more facts to support that narrative from the person who sent uh, the video to me to ascertain whether that could be the case. But you see, in politics, no politician would like to leave anything to chance. Politicians have a tendency of using money to buy support, to bring people to their rallies. Let me take you back, before I share this video, I want to take you back to last year, where when the, when the campaigns were, you know, uh, William Bruto used to dish out millions, you know. He could uh, come to probably Kitui, you know, he could pay Kitui a visit and say, organize yourselves in groups and then this three million, share it. So that is one of the strategies which William Ruto used to buy the support of people. 
in churches, he used the same uh, strategy to buy the support of those people you famously know, know as Mpesa bishops or Mpesa pastors. So these things have been happening. So I want to bring you back to this scenario of what is happening in Migori County. A video was shared to me about a certain agent or politician who was dishing out money people who are believed to be those who are supposed to attend uh, William Ruto's probably rally. I don't know whether that is a true or not true, but you see, in politics, anything is possible. You would use any means to make sure that your rallies or the people who come to your rallies, or the people who come to your rally do not boo you. So how do you achieve it? By dishing out money to soften their hearts. So this video that I managed, managed to stumble upon was about money which was being dished out to people who are believed to those who are going to attend the rallies of William Samaru in Migori County. I want to share this video with you first, you know. Just check this video before you can get further into this analysis. <laughs> Yes, there you have it. For those people who have been following the politics of William Samoy Ruto, you will agree with me with the sentiments which I've uh, just given out that in politics, sometimes you have to take advantage of the voters by dishing out money because they are disparate. You give out money to, to interfere with that disparation and probably confuse them and get them to attend your rallies. At this particular moment, William Samaruto needs Nyanza region to deal with the growing rebellion in the country. To deal with the growing rebellion in the country, he must deal with Nyanza because that is where, that's the source of rebellion in Kenya because Nyanza people have been known to be those people you cannot buy. You can't buy their, their, you know, their support. It's not easy to buy their support. That's why there's a time there, uh, Jalango said, Nyanza people listen to only Raila. You can bring out your money, everything, they will eat your money, but you cannot get their support. So, even this aspect of dishing out money, William Ruto knows very well that that is not translating to a vote, but because politicians are always uh, impressed by a rally that is filled with so many people, whether there are people who will vote for you or not vote for you, as long as they attend that rally and are to clap for you, that's it. So William Samoy Ruto in that rally in Migori was quite happy. If you looked at the mood, he was happy. Because why? Simply because he realized that the people were clapping for him, were shouting, to, you know, that's what I can say. So that to a politician is a very, very important thing. And I said, if you've been following the politics of William Ruto, then you should know that the strategy he uses is a strategy of buying support. Honestly, that is what we saw last year before the presidential election. And it's available in the public domain. I don't have to share those videos of our previous campaigns because you must have seen those videos you must have heard about that, and you must have heard about the Mpesa bishops by now. Literally, everybody knows about that. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to rest my case there, but uh, take one second, go to the comment section and offer your remark regarding that video which I've shared. Do you think that could be the case? That's the reason why people are feeling uh, William Ruto's rallies, that aspect of buying support. Just tell us what you think about that. And to those people who have not supported this channel, I'd like to kindly request you to go below the comment section, to go down there and uh, locate a button written subscribe. And please just hit it once. And by that, you'll be, you'll have, you shall have been subscribed to our YouTube channel. And to those who have been supporting us by either liking our videos or sharing our videos or even subscribing, I want to tell you that I'm forever grateful for that support. Because without that support, this channel cannot grow. So until you catch up again, please stay safe and stay blessed.